Hello friends, my name is Ashok Sijala. In this session, we learn the file upload control in ASP.NET with C Sharp. So let us start. File upload control is a rich control. So let us start here. Uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Express Edition open and here rich demo website folder is already open. In file menu, we take new file and that's name we provide a file load like file load underscore demo and just press the add button before you can press the add button here c sharp is selected and web form file that is you can confirm and then press add button okay and here in head section of html we provide file upload control that is the goal of this session and in division tag we take one panel as a container control so p1 to net server side grouping tags and you can say that image file upload so that session i cover just only image file how to upload in file upload control so in our toolbox there is uh, no any category of rich control so here there is no any rich category in standard control and there is here file upload control is there okay so just i can show you how okay so here i can take the file upload control and that's id uh, you see file upload file run at server side and just the close tag and provide one br you take two br and now take one button to submit our file so just id uh, bt add run at server side and text is also add and font some formatting font bold is true then font size we have to take and that's uh, large and four color and that's uh, dark select just close and provide to be a text for separation and take one simple image so our image file display on the image uh, on the page so let us here img uh, one run at server side and provide the height and width 200 and width also 200 so fix height and width in the image okay uh, also here panel control we take the background color and that's the okay just save and let us look our design so that's uh, here you can see uh, that's the file upload control and here you can look first time that's uh, like uh, here is text box and here is button box no that's uh, all only one control and that's the file upload control and here is our button and here is image so in button here on left margin so just move the here middle okay now click the add button and start our code behind file that's file name is code behind file and take one string variable and that's s1 and tilde sign that's the current working directory symbol and just you see file that is our upload file id and just file name that's the property so we can combine our current working directory plus is a concatenation and plus upload file that is id or file upload control and file name that's stored in s1 variable and now take another s2 variable and map path map path is a method of the page class 
and retry the physical path that's virtual path and either absolute or relatively or an application so that's meaning that we have to take the physical file path and just go at the s one so here the in the c the tool day so here and physical path provide and map path is a method of the page class or all path we have to supply or map path uh, method and that storing as two variable now we have to save as method save as method is a file of code so first take id and save as and just pass as two variable so our physical path is when we upload our file in any place that's bind in our current working folder and now we image id img1 and image url that's we have to just to s1 that is also image display on the page and also our current working website folder also can store so there is only four line of coding and let us first check then after we apply some other property of file upload so i just press f5 okay here image uploads that is the panel title file upload that is our page title and browse that's we can browse our file like we take a pink rose and just open here our path is concat and just press add button so our pink rose image is displayed okay now let us check our current working website folder so here just first reach demo website folder is there and press uh, right click so here refresh folder is there okay and just now look for website folder that uh, image is now here pink so i can just double click and paint brush that image is open so that's all also store in our current working directory folder okay so now we apply some short logic and apply some property here one in programming coding any language like c c plus plus java c sharp okay python ruby so here important or good logic you can say that that is you can first try the remove of your coding minimum variable minimum statement then minimum condition and minimum loop so that is the good logic in our programming language so i can just remove this line and just comment provide so here benefit is the s2 string variable is removed and here one statement is removed so here we directly take the nesting method concept so one method in the call another method that is called nested method so here i provide directly s1 so there is no requirement of s2 variable and this whole statement is removed we just provide first map path method is called an s1 variable concat the path physically and give to file upload control and save as to our current working website folder so there is a short only four line converting the three line coding or logic okay now we can uh, print response dot write or also you can take the label text here response dot write some useful property you have to print and just provide the er file name okay so file name we have to print uh, mp dot file name so that's i copy this statement and paste our fourth or requirement and now the has file is file bind up or not so here file bind 
true or false file bind or not so some properties as file that's the return true or false value see in the tool tip so bind up then to otherwise be written false then the file length so here we provide the length length or here message length of file so here just uh, file bytes is property file bytes dot length is the member and here property that return integer so that is the file length and now we can see file is read only yes or no so here you can say that file bytes and read is read only so there is a property is read only so that's also i think return the bool value true or false so many property or method is there now we can change our message that's also the file length of length of files file and that's we have to print the you know, file bytes or so many properties there so file bytes dot get and that's the length okay so get length method is there here you can see and provide the dimension so here just i pass zero so that the same or length so here we can get uh, see the dimension of the file or length of the file so so here like uh, okay so that's the length of file in that is proper message in dimension okay now also we have to print some other two or three method in our detail of the file okay now here we can use the get file bytes is another important file contents that's other variable okay and that's also method of the uh, length is there so file length is print so we have to remove just dimension okay and content file use method okay now also here in this line i can remove this message and provide the file now file can read or not okay read so that side also property is there just i can uh, file the file upload file over id of and that file contains and can read can write so many properties there file can read then this uh, method is written the boolean value true or false and just copy this line can read so another two here i can apply and next i can change can write okay so here change the message right okay okay here right and here can seek okay so here just change the mm, can seek okay and here can write okay so so many property and method use and also we can provide the http http is a class and some duplication value also we can uh, method or properties holding the http posted file class so we can give the hpf that is our reference and p file give the reference of that so 
posted file that's the posted files and posted files just posted file and same way we print the file name that's land so i can just copy three lines and just pass and we can use here uh, file name print h hbf http posted class and same duplicate uh, that is some duplication is there file upload control because there are two way you can print also save as method holding the posted http posted class so file name that's by print by http so here i just give the http http posted file okay let's print the file name file name by http that's type of message and also content type is there so here also h e f dot uh, contents length and types both are there so first we provide the length okay so here also message the chain file and th by http posted file okay file just remove this bind okay and last method we have supplied just remove this line and taking this one okay and last method we have to use and that's the content types so extension of that file so here file type types types of okay i just run this program and we take this banana image that's flower of banana and contain the path and just press add button so file name is banana here is same and file name http that is the whole path is print so there is one difference user admin picture image and banana file uh, that's bind yes has h uh, has file that is written to then file length uh, 7604 uh, read only that is false okay then dimension same as length can read yes can read read only is false and read is true and write that is image file you cannot write and seek search yes true length file name yes posted file length same as above length and the extension jpg http so that's the end of the session so so many here can use these all properties and just in this session i cover the image file and i can just show you our designing first i summarize here we have to take the panel and three control file upload id run it button id run it text and some formatting properties supply okay and now a button and image image we have to id run it height width and that's our design here file upload button and image and add button we can take short technique of logic only three line is that is needed and rest of we have to print all property of uh, file upload control and as well as http posted class same some duplication properties there so some redundancies there in the file upload control because file upload and http both are hold like save as method holds their file name is there okay so that is the stop my session and complete i can uh, file upload in next coming of video i can also for the all or like simple notepad or document type file you can also upload it uh, subscribe my channel ashok sijala academy and press the bell icon to never miss any updates
and thanks for your watching supporting many subscriber is there my channel and uh, many demanding like uh, sir you can my previous student said that uh, you prepare the ios java c language c plus plus and so i can think in the series of my asp demo complete i can now going in other programming computer language so thanks again and hare krishna